Hello and uh, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about stellate ganglion blocks. Uh, we did a recent um, YouTube for lumbar sympathetic blocks uh, and we touched on stellate a little bit, but this is more focused on the specifics of a stellate ganglion block. So this technique is a local anesthetic block done in the neck meant to tar target a group of nerves called the stellate ganglion. The stellate ganglion controls the sympathetics to the head, the neck, and to the arms. And depending obviously on which side you block, that would affect which arm is involved. Um, as you see in the video here, those are the um, stellate ganglion there. It's part of the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight nervous system and um, the stellate ganglions control the upper extremities, head and neck. So typically we'd be doing this for somebody with complex regional pain syndrome. Um, I have had a few other examples of cases um, of patients with PTSD and some other diagnoses uh, which have responded, but the main indication here is abnormalities of the sympathetic nervous system the most common one of those is complex regional pain syndrome. Um, so in the case of uh, irritation of the sympathetic nervous system, you could see color changes, temperature changes, hypersensitivity to light touch. These are all symptoms of complex regional pain syndrome. Many times by the time people get to a pain specialist, they've been given this diagnosis um, so let's explain a little bit about how the procedure is done. So it's an outpatient procedure done in a facility under x-ray guidance. Um, again, there's many indications out there, vascular and otherwise, but from a pain standpoint, you're pretty much looking at complex regional pain syndrome as the main indication here. It can be done as a series. Typically, we'll do just one to see. Um, how the patient does. So this is done with the patient laying on their back. Um, I use x-ray and ultrasound guidance. Um, so we prep the neck, a little bit of uh, local into the skin just to numb up the area. Um, obviously everything's done under sterile technique, but using a combination of ultrasound and x-ray guidance, we're targeting a needle right down to around C6, C7. Now this is in the front of the neck, it's not near the spinal nerves, so you're targeting down to the stellate ganglion. Um, the stellate ganglion controls the head and the neck. So afterwards in recovery, you may see um, some warmth in the arm, you may feel like a lump in your throat, these are kind of normal side effects. Um, another normal side effects, redness of the eye, drooping of the eyelid, a little bit of congestion, possibly hoarseness of the voice. These are all things that you would expect temporarily. Um, I do recommend that uh, somebody drive you home after a block like this in case you have any headaches or issues with the eye. Um, you can be a little sore temporarily from the block, but we use a very small needle all that's being injected is a little bit of contrast and a little bit of uh, local anesthetic. Obviously, anytime you do an injection, you could have some infection, bleeding, nerve irritation, but typically if it is CRPS um, and you do a block with the local anesthetic, um, you'll see improvement fairly quickly. Um, I don't do a lot of these for patients with angina and those kinds of diagnoses. So I might defer to some of the interventional cardiologists on that one. But for someone like myself, this is typically done for complex regional pain syndrome. Again, there's some literature out there on PTSD uh, responding to some of these types of blocks. So as an overview, good option for somebody with complex regional pain syndrome. Typically the first block helps us from a diagnostic standpoint to kind of prove or disprove um, if CRPS is the diagnosis. If it is, the patient responds. Um, if they don't respond, then it may not be a sympathetically mediated pain syndrome. Um, 
afterwards, you know, patients might be sore for a day or two. These can be repeated. Sometimes we'll do a series of them. There is no steroid in a stellate block. It's just local anesthetic, so it can be repeated without um, risk of uh, steroid issues. So it's safe from that standpoint. Um, patients on blood thinners, I do recommend uh, holding it for this. You gotta remember, you've got the internal jugular right there. You've got the carotid artery, vertebral artery. So there's a lot of vessels there, a lot of things you have to be careful uh, when you're doing a block like this. That's why I use ultrasound um, and x-ray for my blocks. But in all, this is about a five minute procedure. Um, typically done with a little bit of sedation, but could be done in, under local as well. Um, I prefer sedation just to help patients relax and hold still. Um, I hope this information is helpful for those of you that are looking into uh, stellate block. If you have specific questions, you can put them in the comments. Please uh, don't write anything personal about personal medical or health information. And uh, if you have ideas for other videos, please let us know. Please follow us on the YouTube channel and like the video. Hope this was helpful. I appreciate your time.